We're going up in a balloon. We are going up in a balloon on September the 10th, 1988. That's been a while back. I was 44 at the time, and now I'm 78, so I've changed a little bit, but I'm in the black motorcycle jacket, or black leather jacket. I didn't have a motorcycle. Uh, we took off from Plain City, Ohio, and it was a blast. Uh, it was so serene and calm and, and, and uh, quiet up there in the, in the uh, clouds. Uh, I felt very relaxed, and I thought I'd be scared. Unfortunately, the one of the pilots, Eric Ingerson, who was my uh, boss's youngest son, he uh, is the one who invited me up in the balloon ride. He was he was the one who was uh, uh, who putting the gas, the, the the fire, the flames into the balloon to get get it heated up. At the beginning of the video, a great guy, great person. He uh, perished uh, in 1992, I think it was, when uh, their balloon that they were in with, with there were four balloonists in the balloon, and they all came plummeting to the ground from a thousand feet up when they hit the WBNS TV antenna in Columbus, Ohio. He was a great guy, and we dearly miss Eric. So, without further from me, here here's the movie of the balloon ride. September the 10th, Gary's 13th anniversary. Here we are in Plain City, Ohio. I'm one up in a balloon. The first time. Remax balloon, right over there. Beautiful morning. It's great, isn't it? What a day for a balloon ride. Yeah, we've got a good day. Larry, is that awesome? Good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Is this your first year? Uh, All right, you can get a A few years. We've all been at it for a while. Have I met you before? Um, over there, Eric, I work over there. Yeah. I know, I met her. Yeah. What's you, you drive the Bob Scobie. I'm Melanie. That's Melanie. And you're? Bob Scobie.
<coughs> Excuse me. Um, that's my normal voice. I've wanted to have a balloon ever since I was in the eighth grade. I used to read Popular Mechanics and how to build your own back back then. So this is gonna be a real for real. Never been up and run, never built one. You've certainly seen them enough parked in your drive parked oh, yeah. in the drive there. Eric's been trying to get it. We were supposed to go a couple years ago. Yeah. <coughs> I bet you'd like to go up in it. I don't think so. I get to go up for the first time today. You do? Yeah. You like to go up in it. All right. I love it. Have you been up in it before? No. Oh. I get to go up for the first time today. I'm really looking forward to it. And on this one? Uh, yeah, this one here. I work over in the same building where the pilot lives. The pilot of that one there. The bogey. I was supposed to go up in that one, but he said to go up in that one. It doesn't matter to me, just so I get to go up. That's what I do. <laughs> Two ups couldn't be wrong. Mess up. Well, my ears might just be ready to hear something like that. Yeah, it's you know? still ringing from last night. <laughs> no? Oh, you got an upstairs here, don't you? Hey, three of them are coming. I wasn't fun. <laughs> fine. I guess. I'll go along with you. How often have you been up? Well, a lot. I don't know. <laughs> I get up every couple. It's his first time, first, second time up. Turn it on! Turn it on! Here and point it. Uh, Remax balloon, this is bogey. We're gonna wait a little bit. Look through here, it's already pushed, I think. Orange button on in there. Yeah. Yeah. The orange button. Yeah. We'll go yeah. after, after Dan. Okay, you ready? Thanks. Alright, if you can take another person, go ahead. I ain't gonna go pass on that because I'm 195. We're going up. This is wild. We'll play wind today, as Eric says. Did you read that article? They said, asking if he feels the wind up here. He says, no, I am the wind. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what's neat is we're flying right toward my, where I live. Oh, really? I'll tell you what's neat is getting to have all these balloons and take off at the same time. I mean, what, what a first ride. Oh, yeah. yeah, you are a lucky one there. Fantastic. Hey, Eric, get your passengers to face over here. Tell your folks to turn around, Eric. What? Tell your passengers to turn around. But don't bend over too far. Backwards.
wants to get a picture of this dude. Did anybody almost ever fall out of this? Did you see how hard it was to climb in? Yeah, like, you know, sort of stumble, trip. No, sir. Did you notice you had to climb to get in? Right. Yeah, but a real tall person, I mean, would they have a tennis, couldn't they? Really, they've, they've, they've raised the sides on these baskets. Yeah. I'll tell you, this is fantastic. This really is. Is it really? Yeah. All these balloons. <laughs> it's so gentle. It, when yeah, it, you get used to the little basket. <laughs> <laughs> this thing feels like it's cramped up real bad. When it's windy, uh, do you feel the wind at times? I mean, when it's windy, you don't fall. It's too dangerous. But you must have been up here when it got windy, you know? Uh, yeah, I've flown in the wind. It's. It's no fun, you know. It's yeah, uh, scary. It's just so gentle, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You, the drifting of it is just unbelievable. It's a different feeling. They're going down over there, aren't they? No, yeah, we're going up. Uh huh. Dan's still got a little bit of swing. Took to go there. Get one right away. We'll do more. Let's get that. Did you get it? Mark, buddy, you gotta head a little more west. Get all the way to <laughs> get all the weight on one side. Is it like a seesaw? You no, tip when over. you touch the ground like that. Well, yeah, it, 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 really you can't tip over because of the way you're hooked up. Uh -huh. Where the envelope's hooked up. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Coming over top, Dan. That's up, be fine. Yeah, that is wild. Right at the top. Okay, I'm clear, Dan. Oh, no, no, you're supposed to go down the road, Mark. <laughs> Jump up because I think that's the general direction up there, the way that Eric's going. You know, I think that needs to be picky, but hey, that's good. <laughs> Test me out. It's a lot of corn out here yet, don't they? Yeah. That's great. It's usually the time of the day. Yeah, burn mark. In the morning you go up or early. <laughs> you only fly early morning, late evenings, because that's when the winds are the calmest. Now in the winter time, that's void because in the winter time you don't have any thermal activity. In such case, then you can fly all day long. But it's cold. No. In the winter? No. It isn't cold? No. Well, Eric didn't fly last year, did he? Yeah. Nobody likes cold weather. Once you get in it, it's all right. No kidding? Yeah, I can fly 10 degree in the morning. You don't get trip. heavy air or something? Oh, no. That has nothing to do with cold weather. Yeah, it's nothing like this that. <laughs> I can't get used to this little basket. I, feel, I need about another foot hanging out here, you know? This is great, Eric! Good shot of my armpit there, right? <laughs> what? It's fantastic! 
So serene. Gear and things like four that. Four bucks last night. You did? Yeah, good size racks on it. Go hunting, huh? Is that illegal to hunt from here? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cheating, huh? <laughs> What'd you say? This is when I like it. In the wintertime, it's like that all the time. Like what? Quiet. Hot weather really hurts you? Oh yeah. This year? Yeah. Even in the mornings and night, just too hot. It's huh? just measurable. I so mean, you use a lot more fuel, huh? Oh, and it yeah. just gets hot. <laughs> Eric uh, working on that uh, design there. You know? Did you? He, he, I mean, it was his design, but he'd come in and get some magic markers and ask me to critique it. And he's been, he did a real good job on that. Uh, worked so out really Just nice. come up with your design and uh, tap me and say, okay, we'll do it. That's yeah. impressive. Well, that's a good looking one. I think the ball's got a couple of dimples on it. What about the monster balloons? The big ones? Uh, yeah, the ones that are shaped weird. Oh. You know, look like monsters. Did you see those when they were in? Yeah. Um, the other night on they the fly night, strange. Off the uh, Discovery Channel, I reported an uh, alpine ballooning show for yeah. an hour. Excellent. Right where Eric and uh, Scott were at. Yeah. They, I guess, know half the people that were in it and stuff. I don't even feel like jumping. I thought I would. Well, that's good. I'm <laughs> kind of happy to hear that. No doubt. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd have to get you down on the floor and sit on you. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? How, how do you land? And when do you start thinking about that? About an oh, hour's worth later? Yeah, about an hour. It. You know, we're getting the fog lifting up now, so uh, I'd say probably 45. Minutes. You just start looking for a place for all uh, all of us to land today in the same place? No, we'll no, we won't all places. land, yeah. Like this field right below us here, see this? And that'd be a, a decent place that was, to land, huh? Those were beans, and they're all taken off. That'd be a good place to put down. Uh, let's see, we've got a cornfield and a bean field, and then... Uh, kind of look in the direction you're heading. Yeah, you just always... In other words, if we were to we're going to land, we'd be starting to approach... Say we were going to land on this next road, road coming up, well, we'd start our approach back here because of the response time we have is so slow that you've got to really fly ahead of yourself a long ways. we have been landed right behind those trees there in the corner of that woods. Saying get here at seven o'clock. I had messages last night when I got there. You know? Yeah, they're looking at lunchtime. Yeah. Although Emmett, the guy that I farm with, he's reversed. Yeah. He, he gets up at six. You know, he's he's out working at six, but he has breakfast at noon, lunch at six. <laughs> What's the range on this balloon? How high can you take it? 10,000 feet. All of them got a 10,000 foot ceiling on because of the box. How, you can take this one 10,000? Yeah, without oxygen. How high are we going? Oh, we're just cruising. We're going to stay low level because of the fog. How high have you gone? Ten, close to 10,000? I've been 7,200 myself. Yeah. <laughs> Might be able to make some money this morning. <laughs> How would you do that? Sell, Sell pictures. pictures of their farms. Oh yeah? I'm a photographer. Uh, uh, and balloon too. Anyway, you just go up to their house and... Oh, hey, I got a picture of your phone. Get curve and get what do you charge? Like um... Well, it depends on what size they want. 
uh, about 60 bucks for an 11 by 14. <laughs> Is that about where we were before? No, that's lower than we were, isn't it? No, that's where, that's about the same height. We huh. jumped up to 400 feet. Well, we'll come up 300 feet. <laughs> Anguses? No. Or the two darker ones. Look shorthorn to me. Yeah, you're right. The red, red look like shorthorn, and two white faced or uh, probably Angus. What kind is it? Like what the hell there? There, you hear him? Yeah, I'm making noise. Mm -hmm. Scared. Sure is. So they don't you get out there, looks like a truck stop. I'm gonna Yeah, that's the farm, right? right? We're heading right at the farm, buddy. You're doing good. We got a place to land here? Oh, sure. Take I gotta want. I gotta get my <laughs> nephew Howie. He's a character up here. He loves animals. All kinds. He's he's nine. He'd really have a blast yeah, looking for things. Forty-two pendant is that? Where he's here? Yeah. Just the other side. <laughs> Isn't that dangerous? No. You watch what you're doing. Huh. This is great. This is great. Okay, well, we got a climb? Ten Roger, I don't know if you can make it or not, but we're, we're pretty good line on it. General direction state. is over. We're going. See, there's a bunch of implement farm equipment over there. See it? Way off the distance. Okay. We're coming up right. on 70. Yeah, you can see the 70 right 42 there. split. Uh -huh. we're, we're coming in for a landing now? Sure are. We're going to land in this field right here. And hold up on, hold on this. No, we're on the other side of the fence. All right. We're going Grass on the other side. A little low level. These trees by the end on? Yeah, I should, I should hook right around. Could it get bumpy? Should I put the video camera up or? Well, it's going to, we're going to drag a little bit, so... Uh, 
good, Mark. I'm impressed. Give it a shot. All right, just hang on tight, that's all. Coming in with no wheels, right? Right. No wheels on this thing, huh? Just clear the fence and down we go. God, is that a close call? Oh, that's, no, that's close. perfect. I mean, that's beautiful, but it's what you want. Okay, here we come. Hang on. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that dirt off the golf ball. I see uh, what you were doing. <laughs> uh, almost like parachuting. Yeah, not too bad. That's great. That was a good one. Yeah. Hi, right, guys. Great. I got a photo of the farm. I was going to say, you're almost to it. <laughs> yeah, we're almost uh, there. I just couldn't get enough right. If yeah. I know, if I could have lined it up back about a mile more, we would probably... That was fun, I'll right tell you. Nice sure, that's what I was looking at. We'll go back over? up. Well, we did. Again. <laughs> just fine, doing fine. Hey, you can fly her. Great. Whoa. Did I spin her? Yeah. Should I be on the other side? No, you're right. Oh. Just walk right on up to that. Well, we'll deflate that way. We'll deflate that way. You have had them. Tip over, have you? Before? Oh, yeah. People haven't really fallen out. No, no. Sure, sure. Thanks. Fallen? No. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you for Enjoyed it. And what was your name again? Bob. Bob. And I've seen you around a lot, but I, what's <laughs> your name? He's coming right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you see a lot more. He's probably over there. Oh, I yeah. work a lot of hours. You were there uh, yeah. back there today. What, the office? Yeah. That's the first time you got up? So? Yeah. Yep, all after all these years, you've been over there. Come back around. <laughs> I walked right over you. <laughs> now, we get it right back or what? In the car? No, we'll no you got to find your ride from here. <laughs> you, you okay, Molly? Can I help with anything? Oh, we're good. Well, it was an enjoyable trip to Oz. It is an Oz trip. You should have gone with us. Oz was beautiful today. Howdy, went to Oz this morning. Just got back from the land of Oz. <laughs> My first time up. That was fun. Oh, yeah? Oh. What? Were you, uh, did you take off at Shekinah? Uh, did you? Yeah. That's what we thought. I've known the pilot for, well, I've worked for, the, for his father for almost 13 years. A pilot of a different balloon. He's, he let me go up today. First time. It was fun. It really was. Have you been up? No. What I was surprised, I've always sort of had a fear of like jumping. If I get up high, no, I won't, but I think it wouldn't be terrible. But there's nothing like that. It was so serene. It was, I mean, no fear of heights. I've always been, have been afraid of heights. It's just so serene. It's unbelievable. It's just floating. You gotta try it sometime. It's fun. Either that or I'll put it on the videotape and let you see it.
that big basket. Really, this thing's a puff. Hey, it's not in. Back a little, Jimmy. Right there's fine. Right in the van. Yeah, that's yeah. Neat.